Hey guys, in this video, we'll be covering linting and code formatting, so let's dive right in. TypeScript ensures type safety. However, linting and formatting helps to enforce standards and code uniformity. In this video, we will set up linting with ESLint and code formatting with Prettier in our application. So let's dive right in. To start with, we would install some dev dependencies using npm install dash dash save dev because there will be dev dependencies. The first on the list is ESLint as mentioned earlier. And since ESLint does not support TypeScript out of the box, we will install some other dependencies which are at TypeScript ESLint ESLint plugin at TypeScript ESLint parser and prettier as mentioned earlier. So I'll just hit enter and let it run. After the installation is completed, we will need to configure ESLint in our application. And to do that, we will need to create an ESLint RC file in the root of our application. So I'll just do that. Touch.ESLint RC. So we created that in the root and we'll open it. And um, within this file, we'll add our configuration. Which is uh, extends. So we'll extend ESLint recommended this is an ES is, is ESLint built-in recommended configuration we'll also extend the plugin we installed earlier on which is plugin at typescript ESLint recommended So it's similar to the ESLint recommended but more specific to TypeScript. Next, we would need to specify the parser with um, the parser option of at TypeScript ESLint slash parser, which we installed earlier on. Uh, by default, ESLint would look for configuration files in all parent directories up to the root directory so setting root true will stop ESLint from looking in the parent directories when it finds this setting this config configuration can be tweaked further but this will do for now to set up prettier we would create a new configuration file dot prettier rc similar to that of ESLint so I'll just go there and do touch dot pre trc so create that new file now so within this file we're going to add our prettier configuration first we need every statement to end in a semicolon so we'll set this to true next we need to add trailing commas or we'll add this particular um, setting. So print trailing commas in multi-line comma separated semantic structures like arrays and objects. We'll also go further to add another one which is for single quote. So for uniformity, we'll just use swing single quote. Right? And set that to true. And then um, we need a print width. So add it print with the print with option we set it to 80 so specify specific this specifies the line length that the printer will wrap the printer will wrap on so finally we'll add one other one which is the tab width so we'll set it to two so this is the number of spaces per indentation level 
so with this we have our PTR setup and our ASLint setup so to lint and format our code we would create some scripts in our package.json file so we'll move out to package.json we'll add some new script one is to lint or we'll use the ESLint um, command and then we'll specify the the files the pattern for the files I'll need to lint in our application which will all be in the source directory and then we'll add a hyphen hyphen fix next we'll add another script for formatting for prettier so we'll do format prettier dash dash right slash so still linting the same pattern for files ts so far we have been able to set up formatting and linting however to ensure that the linting rules are adhered to we can install a small package husky and define a pre-commit hook to run lint before any commit and prevent bad code from being committed to our code to our source code so we'll do that by um, installing husky which is also a dev dependency so we'll use npm install dash dash save dev husky so next we'll also add a a, a code block in our package of JSON to this effect. So we'll have Husky. Like I said earlier, it's going to be a hook and it's going to be pre commit. NPM run lint. So it's going to run our lint command before every commit so to wrap it all up in this video we have been able to set up formatting with rules to enforce maximum length line length comma style and likes also we have also set up linting for code quality like disallowing unused variables and finally added a hook to run linting before commits using husky thank you very much for staying tuned on this video so i'll see you in the next video Hope you enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe, like, share and turn on post notifications to get notified when we post new videos and encourage the channel to create more feature focused contents.